What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We got a pretty cool series coming up. We've got an 84 K5 Blazer that we're gonna be doing a full restoration on with my good friend John here. What all we gotta do? The chassis needs some reinforcement on where the gearbox is. We've got a little bit of body work, the exhaust, and some seat frames. Some seat frames in, you wanted to put a roll bar. And the roll bar, yeah, With some yeah. bumping speakers on there too. Yeah, so we got a lot great. of stuff we gotta do on this Blazer. Stay tuned guys, there's gonna be a whole series on it. We're gonna be using this Everlast Hurricane 220 on the entire process. Guys, keep up to tune with it. Let's dive into this. You've got this whole blazer just taken apart. I mean, what led you to even get this far as far as getting down to the bare frame? Yeah, literally this truck only had an oil leak and the windows didn't roll up or down. And then and more, now this the more is, you dig, the more you find, so right? make sure you change your oil. <laughs> the moral of the story. First things first is this fish plate. That's yes, what you sir. call it? Yeah, so it's- Why do they call it fish plate? Uh, it's just, that's just like a term. Looks nothing like a fish. Right? <laughs> just a reinforcement term. Like I used to weld a bunch of fish plates on the uh, pump jack skids, but- You're putting this fish plate on here to reinforce it from what I can gather. Right, so this is a known weak part in the K5 Blazers. When you run oversized tires, the gearbox puts a lot of tension right here and these frames crack. So luckily this frame wasn't cracked already which is awesome. So this is sort of just like preventative maintenance at this point okay, cool. and a little overkill. Right on. And then after that, we've got to move on to where the body lands. All these spots like right here, uh, here, here. Most of them are kind of fine, but some of them are kind of ate up, right? Yeah. The body just sits on there and these are the supports and we have a little bit of rust back here that needs to be fixed. This needs to be dealt with. Ooh, that looks nasty. While we're at it. Uh, reinforce the other ones. You can see a little bit of scarring here, but not too bad. Right on, right on. Yeah, that one doesn't look bad, but we're gonna just beef them all up while we're here. I'm trying to keep it rounded so that, like, see, like, if I were to, if we were to cut right there, it's gonna be pretty pointed. So I think, I'm thinking if we cut it rounded off, that the weld's gonna... So we gotta put it right here. And you're trying to avoid this, these humps. And we gotta put it right there. And then this is in the way. Yeah, so I'm just trying to trim that off. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go ahead and hook the plasma up. Kick this old dog, make sure the ground's in the positive. Get that in there. Kick that old dog on. We're running this rigid compressor. What is that? A, I don't even know what size that is. But I can pick it up. You don't need a big one to run plasma. At least not for the shortcuts that we're gonna do. I'll let you get at her, bro. We're, There you go. Did that enough, and then the compressor kicks on. I mean, that's all we really need. Let's see if you did it any good. Is that out of the way now? Hey, yeah, it looks it's looking pretty it's good. pretty tight there. But I'm thinking that, like, what's your opinion? Should we get a little bit more off so that we can get a weld right there, or should we uh, just kind of let I like I like where your head's at there. We trim a little bit more, trim back a little bit. I think it, that won't hurt. prevention he says what about my health do you ever think about the welder it's a work of art you want to make sure that you got everything painted on the back side because we're only going to stitch weld it if water gets in there then water will get in there though. right but uh you got yeah. a little well, schmutz. thank you yeah it'll just keep it from rusting out and yeah and, uh, rust prevention that's the whole point of the restoration do it right oh there she went what do you think yeah clamp let's clamp her wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait we gotta at least prep all this where uh, we're gonna well so i want to take off the uh, clamp it as tight and then wire wheel yes okay yeah, i'm trying to make me weld that. over some paint cool 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 cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool before we get too carried away with this fish plate we want to go ahead and break out the cardboard and trace out these brackets where these mounts go so that we can recreate those and transfer them onto steel and cut them with our plasma cutter while it's still out you certify to operate that i believe so you're cutting like just little schmidzers off here let's see it Oh, very clean. We gotta see if it fits these. Obviously that's different. That one and that one we gotta do differently. Is this one the same as that one you think? Pretty okay. close. I and want it. That one's for sure different. Yep. So we basically need to make a bunch of these. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's cut some cardboard. We did our cardboard cutouts. We did mark our holes where the holes are, but John is very difficult to work with and he doesn't want to cut the holes out on the cardboard. He wants to cut the 
perimeters out first, then set the uh, metal down and then trace the hole. You can let us know in the comments who you think is right or which way you think is faster. Just go ahead and make it on the cardboard, cut the whole thing, trim to fit, or cut the outside, go over there, go underneath it, really spend some time trying to oh, mark man. it right there, <laughs> and then trim to fit afterwards. So we're just gonna plasma cut these. We got it all hooked up still. Let's cut some stuff. We did end up using the power set on this machine. So you go ahead and hit power set and you can set your work thickness and the consumable diameter that you're using and it sets up the amperage for you. And it did cut a lot better on the power set than me just turning up everything. So that's nice, let's burn. I started off bad, but it's pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty surprised the compressor is already back up and running. Always bring a hammer, go to a cut fight. Don't cut too fast, take your time. Probably got one little hang up when I went too quick there. Went faster that time, the compressor didn't even kick on. Whoop. These things are freaking paper thin, but man, they eat steel. Need someone to clean up your ugly cuts? It's called 3M. That's it. Now it's time to repeat the process. Trace it onto the steel. Cut it with the plasma cutter. We'll get everything nice and cut with this Hurricane 220. Even on this six gallon compressor, this thing is still holding up just fine. What do you think of that plasma cutter, man? Nice, man. Not bad for running off a, a six gallon compressor. Oh yeah, and it hasn't stopped yet. It's kept up with us, yeah. made the cut. Yeah. Now we just gotta prep everything and make all the center cuts. It is noisy though, but hey, it's a compressor for you. Do you like the Cubitron 3 Rock or the Sanin Pad more for um, Probably this, man. You gotta be careful with it though. It takes off me quick. <laughs> sure. I think I'm done. We still have a lot of grinding ahead of us. We've got to clean up all the edges, make sure everything fits where we want it, and then we've got to make sure they're nice and secure so that we can locate the holes needed, cut those holes, and then do a final prep on the inside of those holes, get everything lined up, get everything prepped, get everything tacked down so that we can weld everything solid. We just got a little bit more prep to do. We got John back there. He's lining up all the pieces that I went and wire wheel to make sure all the paint was away. He wants to leave as much paint on it as possible to help prevent rust. Got a couple more pieces to get prepped up while he's doing that. And then I'm going to switch this machine over from plasma to MIG welding. Switching things over ain't nothing but a thing. We'll just pull this out. We can actually move that to C25. We'll wrap up that plasma lead here in a second. We got to move that over to the negative terminal because we got to run DC positive with our MIG. And then we can run our MIG gun up. Easy peasy. We'll get that nice and secure and tight here in a second. Let's sit here. Make sure it threads on all the way. We moved on over to the C25 MIG option, which is cool. I'm gonna keep in the power set to keep everything simple. We're gonna be running on a thickness of about 3 16 is gonna be our max. So quarter inch is pretty close. I'd rather stay on the spicy side of things. Uh, we're gonna come down. We gotta set our wire feed with our wire size and we're gonna be running 035 on here. So. It's going to go ahead and reset me over here, come back over, set it back to a quarter inch. Hey, it. Should be good. 21, 380 sounds perfect. We got everything set. The gas is on 75, 25. Uh, we're, all we got to do is run the wire back through uh, and then we're good to weld. We're going to start tacking everything down. John's going ahead and start tacking down and welding these. Uh, again, we're taking some like 3 16 inch plate. We're just kind of just giving some extra extra meat on each one of these supports where the body lands. So we got them all tight, got them prepped. 
one side's painted. He wants as much paint on there that it can exist without affecting the welding. So damn you, John, but we're gonna follow his way. way. We might get a bug hole or two on the way. Yeah, that little stamp got me. Not too bad, we're burning nice and hot. We're welding on 3 16 inch plate, so we're burning it on the quarter inch plate setting. And even this is, you know, not even quite a quarter inch. So we got, we got all the beams we need. We're just gonna do, go ahead and tack and weld all of, all of these and then get that fish plate welded on too. These bolts are stressing me out, but it's more important to get it fitted to the frame than it is to have the, the holes line up since I can drill them. We actually had a really hard time getting this fish plate on. We had to wrestle it quite a bit with these strong hand clamps as we worked from one end of the fish plate to the other, making sure that there was no gaps between the frame and the fish plate itself. As we got things clamped, we tacked along the way, making sure that it, there was no spaces whatsoever. Once it was all tacked, we were ready to weld. It's the moment you've been waiting for, man. It's the weld party time. Time to do the weld party, it's a fiesta. You just write in chalk all over. You can't just be like, well, a little here, or maybe put an arrow. You gotta put chalk in the wheel. Yep. Mm. Mm. Oil fill workers, man. Now the biggest thing that we gotta keep in mind with this fish plate is it does need to be able to flex, right? So. You're putting chalk in all the spots you want weld. That's where you're gonna have some stitch welding go. So we have some flex, some movement, all that, no vertical welds. Don't wanna to put too much stress in there, right? Yes, sir. Heck yeah. You ready for some welding? I believe so. All right, it's cinder bud. Eyeballs. Now there's nothing crazy going on about the MIG welding that we're doing on this truck frame. The only kind of hard variable that we've got to deal with is all this paint that's still in the weld joints. And we turn things up extra spicy to see if we can just burn through so we make some good quality welds regardless. After wrestling and welding up this fish plate, it ain't going anywhere. So the only thing left now to do is to finish welding up these supports and make sure everything's seal welded all the way around and just a little bit of a jimmy, polish her up, and then we're done. So we got this whole side finished up. We got all those on. We'll probably take something and just clean the tops of them. We got fire! Oh, put her out. Hey, 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 y'all be careful welding around. Plastics. Oil and grease. What kind of operation are you going over here, man? Happy birthday! Oh, we made a mess today, dude. We made an absolute mess. So we got, what, like you say, you got a quarter inch lift kit on this thing now. All those little supports are bolstered up and we got the fish plate on on a node and weak point. This is all you wanted to get done on the frame. Yes, sir. We got it buttoned up. Buttoned up nice and strong. You're gonna have to repaint that stuff, send it out the door. We're gonna come back and do some body work and everything on this. Probably do the floor pans, right? Yeah. Four yeah, pans next. Yeah. Four yeah. pans. Yeah. Stay tuned, guys. We got more stuff to do. This hurricane's ripping. It's welding. See you on the next one.